series of 2012. The new series here is the Virtual 90s. I'm going to talk about my top five favorite virtual reality uh, devices of the 1990s. In the 90s, they thought virtual reality was the next wave of gaming and reality. Um, I'm going to show you a screenshot right there of just a ridiculous device. It's like it's like a fish bulb on your head. See it? I mean, I'm just getting good at this editing. Getting this Anyways, ridiculous stuff, and uh, I want to show you a ridiculous headset that came out. One of my favorite virtual reality uh, products of the 90s. I will be talking about uh, the Virtual Boy, that's not this, and a few other different um, devices uh, for virtual reality. We'll even touch on the power pad and the glove, the power glove for the NES, and show how even the 8-bit systems with Sega's 3D machine on the Master System they were trying to fool with that virtual reality in 3D even back then because it was so hot on their limited hardware. But today I thought we'd talk about something really special, really hard to find. Um, in fact, there's only a couple YouTubers who've done a video, one being Gamester81, of course, he has everything. But it's the Virtual Reality Stump Master by Victor Max. Most people just call him Victor Max. And then this is cool because it plugs right into your Sega Genesis or your Super Nintendo, so you don't need a fancy device. Um, I was playing Space Harrier 2 on the Genesis using this, and that's one of the games that excel, but this is just basically a novelty, a $150 novelty. That's how much it will cost you in the box these days. Now, if you think that's outrageous, think of the 90s and over $400. That's right, this thing came on the market for $400 American dollars in the 90s, which would be the equivalent to around $5,550 today. Could you imagine paying? That much for a pair of sunglasses that gave you distorted vision, headaches, made your head weigh down like that, and didn't even work correct? Well, that's why this machine didn't do so well, and you might not even know what it is before this video. They did come out with a successor to this. Can you believe it? There's a smaller, sleeker version that they put afterwards that the price tag so ridiculous. It's so uber rare. I haven't even seen it for sale. And it's an HD version of this. Yes better graphics and I hear on the HD slicker version I can't even remember what it's called on that stunt master the picture is a lot clearer than this and it's actually a lot more enjoyable let's get in the box I'm gonna put this uh, technology for the 21st century right on my dome and show you how preposterous this thing is now I'm gonna try to start modifying this thing because they didn't put any padding right here and it rips the heck out of your nose. I mean, especially a guy who's been in a couple fights when he was younger like me has a big old crooked nose because it's been broken like eight times. That cannot, you know, it doesn't even fit. My snozz is way bigger than that little slit. I mean, you gotta have pretty much a cartoon character nose for something like that, you know? Um, something like, you guys ever seen Doug? His friend, I can't even remember the name, but he was the, you know, he had the leather jacket, he had the cat, he had a really triangle nose. No, I can't, I don't want to say Skeeter, but that's the blue guy. Anyways, that guy, he had a triangle nose, and that's the only person that could wear this comfortably. Here it is. Looks like old virtual reality. I want to show you guys gameplay so bad, but it, I've tried, I've messed around with it, and there's really no good way to do it. Now, this is pretty cool because not only you can turn it on and off, not only can you see it in there in 3D using mirrors, you can also, when you move your head this way or you move your head that way or up and down, you can actually move your character like that. It would have been really good for first-person shooters. Now, since it's the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, I haven't tried it with any, but maybe Zero Tolerance on the Genesis or Doom on the Super Nintendo might be beneficial to use your headgear. But on a shoot 'em up, don't even try. I tried and I was like, Linda Blair spinning my head around off my shoulders. But uh, this thing is pretty crazy. All right, the ends, there you got an attachment. This is the attachment for the Super Nintendo. And the one it just comes out of is this little like computer serial port. And that plugs into this thing right here. And then that will give you the Super Nintendo adapter two controllers um, you plug in to make yours the controller the power all that and here it is for the Genesis model one maybe even master system I haven't messed around with it but the Genesis it works for sure 
has the old model one and then there's another really cool adapter it came with that you can plug into your model one and it turns it into a model two but I'm actually using my better composite cables for my master system on my 32X using the same adapter so I don't have it showing sorry but it works and then it takes yes its own power source so if you're playing this with the 32X you need a wall socket with four to hold four of these all right now how cool is that right i can't see anything but i, I look pretty cool sorry it hurts my nose anyways this is how you play and you can modify there's people who have actually modded these with the power glove the nes power glove so you can actually use those old 90s tech demos to hold the apple and twist it just really cutting edge stuff there's so many cool modifications you can do to these things which makes them killer sought after and hard to find now i got this one for like around 20 30 dollars and it was still almost too much for what it is i wanted one i would have went up to the 150 but if you're just gonna messing around with it or you think it would actually do virtual reality don't pay 100 you will be so disappointed you dropped a bill 50 on this instead of a pc engine I promise you'll you will get anything before you get this thing. Get the Virtual Boy if you want to see a poor example of virtual reality. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 of usage and still, it, it's a 1. You know, this thing sucks to use. It's blurry. It hurts your face. On a cool factor, it's a 12. This thing is so awesome that I'll put myself through it. It's like strapping a Game Gear to your face. That's the graphics. That's the brightness and everything. So it's like you have a Game Gear strapped to your face. But it's, it's really cool. The speakers are right there. I think it's just really neat. And I love examples of virtual reality from the 90s. That's why I started this new series. So this is the Stump Master. Feel free to drop any questions about it or tell me your favorite virtual reality device. I'd love to hear it. These aren't reviews. These are overviews. Just to show you my top five favorite. Number five is the Stump Master by Victor Max. So that's number five. Next uh, week we'll get to number four, which is so much cooler than this if you can imagine something cooler than this see we live in 2012 and i thought people would just like be wearing this type of headgear mandatory when i was growing up in 2012. didn't you guys think the future would be a lot different than it is right now we'd be wearing these headsets eating pills to get our nutrients and talking through people and screens like Skype, but nobody wants to see each other, so they just text. Anyways, that's a whole other discussion. Um, really happy this is the last new series. I'm going to be keeping up all the new ones. I hope you guys like some of the new series and the old ones that are coming for 2012. Um, been killer busy with work. Uh, sorry, haven't been around, but I'm back at it, and we'll see you guys next time.